I am Dr. Swachla, scientific director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Endometriosis occurs when the lining of the uterus is displaced and it starts to grow in other areas such as the ovaries, the fallopian tubes and also further into the pelvic area. There may be no symptoms or there may be many including pain in the lower abdomen or back pain which is called as pelvic pain, severe period pain, there could be fatigue, changes to your period, there could be heavy bleeding or irregular bleeding, painful bowel movement and pain during or after sex. Endometrial tissue which is growing outside of the uterus goes through the same process every month as the tissue which is growing inside the uterus. What happens is it thickens every month and if pregnancy does not occur the lining of the uterus breaks down and leaves the body but the endometrial tissue which is also growing elsewhere on your ovaries or outside the uterus also goes through the same procedure and it starts to bleed but as the blood uh, cannot leave the body so instead it causes pain inflammation and scarring so what causes endometriosis it appears that the actual cause of endometriosis is unknown it is possible that one of the factors that i'm going to mention or a combination of them could be the cause of the reason for the development of endometriosis in some women these reasons are environmental conditions immune issues, retrograde menstruation, some genetic causes also cause endometrial uh, issues or lymphatic issues. It is thought that this chronic condition affects around 1 in 10 women and in years gone by has sometimes taken 10 years or more to fully be diagnosed. So if you have symptoms which are indicative of endometriosis, you should consult your gynecologist and understand the severity of it. Endometriosis is usually confirmed by ultrasound and laparoscopy but in addition is also made by the description of symptoms such as irregular bleeding or heavy periods, painful bowel movements, pelvic pain, fatigue, bloating of the lower abdomen etc. Some of the main treatments for endometriosis include painkillers, hormonal medications and sometimes surgery. But can nutrition help in endometriosis? There are some key objectives regarding nutrition and endometriotics and they should be paid attention to. You could boost your gut flora, normalize immune response remove metabolic waste from your body and you should optimize liver function. The liver is the key in the detoxification of toxins and the metabolism of hormones. So plenty of regular exercise, maintaining a healthy weight and certain key supplements which are actually prescribed by your gynecologist because they are uh, tailored individually to your need and your personal uh, nutrition and your lifestyle plan. These have found to be uh, of use in endometriosis. There are some foods that you should avoid or decrease. Let's talk about them. Processed meat and red meats. These can lead to further inflammation. So you should look for grass fed or organic meat. If you do consume, consume a very small quantity of red meat. Trans fatty acids also should be avoided. These are formed when liquid fats are heated and it resembles butter or lard. Trans fats increase the body's levels of many inflammatory markers and these inflammatory factors have been shown to be associated with severing endometriosis. You have to reduce omega-6 foods to help rebalance the omega-3 or 6 ratio. Examples of omega-6 containing foods are processed snacks, fast foods, cakes, fatty meats and cured meats. These lead to increase in inflammation. Limit your caffeine intake because it can increase estrogen levels and menstrual pain also can be increased in some patients. Advanced and processed food should be avoided because they affect the liver condition which is involved in hormone processing. Gluten containing food should also be reduced. You can substitute it with uh, sweet potato, quinoa or wild rice and see if your symptoms are reducing. Alcohol should also be avoided. A healthy liver is important for good hormonal balance as the liver detoxifies chemicals and waste products including excessive hormones. Alcohol can be inflammatory and affect vitamin D3 levels in the liver. Foods that you can increase are plenty of fruits and vegetables. These provide numerous vitamins and minerals but they also help because they contain fiber. It's very important to expel unwanted substances from your body particularly excess hormones such as estrogen which can reduce the symptoms of endometriosis. Drink plenty of fresh water every day. You can include beans, peas, apples, nuts, seeds, carrots, pulses etc. in your your food because they contain natural phytoestrogens which can help block estrogen receptors to uh, balance hormones. Omega-3 can be included in your diet. Oily fish such as salmon, 
trout, mackerel, along with nut seeds can help reduce inflammation. Recent research has indicated that lycopene may also be useful in reducing abnormal activity of cells and can help in reducing the adhesion effect of endometriosis. Lycopene is a phytochemical and is found in tomatoes or bright colored fruits and vegetables such as watermelons, apricots, papaya are few of the examples. Leeks, onions, garlic are also prebiotics that can help boost your gut flora. These contain bioflavonoids which help in protection against inflammation. Consuming organic produce also can help in reducing endometriotic symptoms. Foods containing selenium such as brazil nuts, walnuts, eggs, tuna, turkey, chicken which contain selenium can help boost white blood cell function and thus your immunity. It also helps in producing liver detoxification enzymes. A low glycemic index has been shown to reduce pain symptoms in some patients. If you follow the right diet, there could be a lot of help in reducing the symptoms of endometriosis. To understand more, please consult us at Ziva Fertility Centers. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.